Good morning, students, and welcome to today's episode of Doceri by me, Mr. Cogswell. Today's episode, we will focus on close reading, which is reading with a pencil, and this was made specifically for you, Miss Von Rudin's class, by me, Mr. Cogswell. So let's go ahead and get into our lovely close reading by first reviewing our learning target. What is our learning target? Our learning target will be, I will closely read and annotate on the article, printing out a new hand, really. Okay, so we can see a few important words on here. Let's annotate it. One thing that we're going to do today is we're going to closely read. So let's focus on that. Another thing we're going to focus on is annotating or writing on the text. So now that we've reviewed our learning targets, let's go ahead and review what is close reading. So remember, during our first read, we're going to break the surface and we're going to take a look at the gist so we can get the big picture and have a basic understanding what we're going to read. Everyone say gist. Great. In our second read, we're going to dig a little, little bit deeper and we're going to take a look at the details so we can better understand what the text is saying. What is the author saying? Understanding the details. Everybody say key details. Great job, Miss Von Rudin's class. And finally, in the third read, we're going to dig really, really, really deep, and we're going to show our understanding of the text by looking at the evidence. Everybody say evidence. Great. So again, let's take a look. We have our gist, which is the umbrella that covers the whole article. It's the big picture. What's the article mostly about? We have our details, the little tiny pieces that help us, that we need to understand to make sure we understand what the author is saying. And finally, we take a magnifying glass and we look at the evidence to make sure we really understand what we are reading. So, two, two things that we're going to do today during our close reading, during our annotation. So, number one, oh my goodness, arduous, what does that mean? Sometimes when we're close reading, we're going to see a difficult word. And when we see a difficult word, we need to circle the word. And we're going to try to use some context clues to figure it out and write ourselves some margin notes. For example, the word arduous means difficult or hard. And that way we can understand the confusing words. Something else we're going to do is that when we see evidence in our phase three, we're going to go ahead and underline the evidence to show where it is in the text. So, remember, we're going to circle confusing words today and write margin notes and also underline the evidence to show what we know. And of course, Miss Von Rudin's class, I know, as always, I'm going to have your watching eyes. Remember, good students are active listeners and follow any speaker with their eyes. Furthermore, you're going to have your active listening going on. Remember, it's not just enough to listen. You need to think about what the speaker is saying. So with that, let's go ahead and begin our next close reading on Ready, Set, and Go.